At the Paris 2024 Olympics, breakdancing, referred to as breaking within hip-hop culture, made its historic debut, marking the first time the sport has ever been included in the Olympic Games. This milestone was seen as an opportunity to inspire a new generation of b-boys and b-girls to embrace breaking. However, the sport's introduction has been overshadowed by a controversial performance by Dr. Rachel Gunn, an Australian academic who competed under the stage name, Ray Gunn. Dr. Gunn, a 36-year-old scholar from Macquarie University in Sydney, has spent the past decade studying the cultural dynamics and history of breaking. Her participation in the Olympics was a rare and significant chance to showcase her interpretation of the sport on the world stage. However, her routine has ignited a firestorm of criticism, with many arguing that it could set the sport back by decades. During her Olympic performance, Dr. Gunn stood out from her competitors with a routine that was anything but traditional. Dressed in her Team Australia outfit, Ray Gunn entered the arena and performed a series of unconventional moves, including mimicking the movements of a kangaroo, rolling around on the floor, and spinning on her head. At one point, she appeared to squirm on the floor while attempting to touch her toes. These moves, intended to be creative and unique, were met with a barrage of criticism and ridicule. As soon as clips of her performance began circulating on social media, the backlash was swift and intense. Memes and comments flooded the internet, with one user comparing her routine to someone trying to take the duvet off when they are too hot at night. Another remarked that her performance resembled what their nephew might do after insisting the family watch a self-choreographed dance. Perhaps most damningly, a critic declared that Dr. Gunn had set breaking back 40 years. Dr. Gunn, who failed to score a point in her Olympic bouts and lost each of her three round robin matches by two rounds to zero, has defended her performance. She acknowledged that she couldn't match the athleticism, tricks, and strength moves of her competitors, so she opted for a more creative approach. Her decision to deviate from traditional breaking styles was rooted in her academic work, where she has explored the cultural politics of breaking, particularly around issues of gender, race, and inclusivity. In articles and papers she authored before the Games, Dr. Gunn discussed her belief that breaking could be opened up to individuals from diverse backgrounds, challenging the meritocracy she views as exclusionary. She aimed to distinguish breaking from traditional hip-hop dance and to demonstrate that it could be accessible to people of all abilities. However, these ideas have sparked controversy, with some accusing her of diluting the essence of the sport and disrespecting its origins in African-American and Latino communities in 1970s New York. Following her Olympic performance, Dr. Gunn took to Instagram to address the criticism, urging people not to be afraid to be different. Go out there and represent yourself, she wrote, adding that one never knows where such authenticity might lead. Despite the negative feedback, she remains committed to her vision of inclusivity within the sport. Australia's Olympic team officials have stood by Dr. Gunn, with Anna Mears, the country's chef de mission, praising her as a beloved member of the team who embodied the Olympic spirit with enthusiasm. However, the broader breaking community remains divided, with some questioning the impact her performance may have on the sport's future. The World Dance Sport Federation, the governing body responsible for breaking at the Olympics, has not issued a statement regarding the controversy. As the sport looks ahead to the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles, where breaking will not be featured, the debate over inclusivity, creativity, and respect for tradition within breaking continues to unfold. Dr. Gunn's performance may have sparked a conversation that goes far beyond the dance floor, touching on the very identity and future of breaking as it navigates its place on the global stage.